Today we're going to walk you through the installation of the JNL oil separator kit for your Ram TRX, including the JNL oil separator kit. It's a fully assembled oil separator with quick connect fittings, a mounting bracket, mounting screws, and the tools you'll need for installation is a 10 millimeter socket, ratchet, and extension, and a Phillips head screwdriver. Let's get started. Our first step, we're going to need to remove the factory PCV hose. We are on the passenger side of the vehicle. The PCV line is here, which is running from the PCV valve to the supercharger. And I'm going to remove this line and then show you how these connections work. So first I'm going to take it off of the PCV valve and then off of the supercharger. And these connections disconnect two different ways. On the PCV valve, it has this little tab that you pull. That's the retainment tab. And then on the supercharger side, actually just has a push button. So you just press that in and the fitting will pull right off. You'll see in here, this truck has about 900 miles on it. There's already quite a bit of oil in this line. Next, we need to remove our mounting bolt, which is off of this intercooler tank reservoir. It's the 10 millimeter bolt. Let's go and unscrew that. And then we're going to grab our JNL bracket. And reinstall the bolt. And you can square that bracket up, just make it nice and straight, and tighten that bolt up. Then we're going to grab our JNL oil separator assembly and just kind of slide it into place. We're going to line up our holes and use our supplied mounting screws. Get them started by hand. And then we'll tighten those up with our screwdriver. All right, now we just need to make our connections, but I want to show you a few things on these hoses first. So our shorter line here with our 90 degree fitting is going to go to the PCV valve. If your fitting is not pointed the correct direction, these rotate. So you just grab it and you can spin the fitting. Also, if you ever go to remove the fitting, there's a button on here. It says push. To release this fitting, it's just like the one on the supercharger. You just press the button in and pull up on the fitting. Same thing on the supercharger side. It's 45 degree fitting. The button's on the bottom. And you can rotate these fittings also. So we're just going to make our connections. These are just pushed to connect. And then the one to the supercharger. Like so. Now this kit is compatible with our extension, which doubles the capacity of the can. Average collection on the Hellcat motors is typically about an ounce every thousand miles. Uh, the regular can holds three ounces. Of course with the extension it holds roughly six. 
if you live in a cold climate and drive the truck year round, you're going to see that uh, in the winter months, you're going to actually collect more condensation in the can from this the temperature difference. So you'll have to service it more frequently where you may want to go ahead and get the extension just to buy you some more time. Uh, but it's completely optional. Thanks for watching.